So now that you have the Squid Proxy server set up and running on PFSense, the next cool thing you can do is install LightSquid to sort of take a look at the access logs and see what's going on as far as the hit percentage and some of the transfer rates and that type of thing. Um, and LightSquid is really easy to install in PFSense. You just go to the package manager, click on available packages, and click on install and then confirm and you'll end up here with it showing up as an installed package. So um, the particular version of LightSquid that I have, it looks like it's 3.0.6. Um, and then what you do to actually get to the um, Squid Proxy Reports is you go to Status, click on Squid Proxy Reports, and then here's the uh, configuration page for LightSquid. So you can see we can change the web port, we can turn SSL on and off, we can set the username and password, and uh, we can change the language, the report template, bar color, IP resolve methods, skip URLs, and we can also set the refresh scheduler. Now what the refresh scheduler is going to do is actually tell LightSquid how often to refresh the access logs uh, that, that you can see uh, inside of the web interface. Okay, So if you do a two hour refresh then you're only going to see the access logs based on you know potentially the, the last um, you know two hours so you could be looking at hour and a half hour 45 minute old data at that time until it refreshes again now obviously the more that you refresh the more CPU usage it's going to take to do that especially depending on um, how much data is in the access logs how many users you have that type of thing so there's an exclamation point and an asterisk next to 10 20 30 and 40 minute cycles there because they want to make sure that if you select those options and you're refreshing that often that you have the processing power to do it. So um, since this is just a test and just for fun I went ahead and did 50 minutes but you could just as easily do you know two hours whatever and then here's the uh, the manual buttons to refresh and uh, you see you have two different options for that. So we'll go ahead and refresh now and then how you actually get into the LightSquid web interface is just click this button here to open LightSquid or you can load the IP address of the PFSense server uh, and open port 7445 that will also take you you know into the LightSquid interface this button just happens to do it automatically for you so just click on that and I've already signed into this page before so it didn't ask me for the username and the password but um, the first time you log in it will ask you for the uh, username and password and really that's just what you set right here so admin and pfsense is what I have obviously in a real environment you would want to change this information or at least change the password so if we go here to the um, this is the the main page we see we've got a couple things going on here we've got um, a couple of days there's a group one user and it's sort of just giving us basic information like the hit percentage and the average um, uh, megabytes and we can just click on this and it shows us the different users as you can see obviously there's only ever been you know one user that's used this before and we can click on that user and sort of see um, you know a list of accessed sites and we can see the bytes that were uh, consumed and uh, cumulative and the, the hit percentage so um, you know it's it's kind of neat to be able to go in and do that now I will say you need to be extremely careful when you deploy this and if you use this because a lot of this man in the middle and uh, access logging that type of thing can potentially be in a gray area um, it could also be depending on your country you know totally illegal and you should not shouldn't be doing it at all but uh, you know it, it's it's going to be something that you just want to be careful with because you're talking about man in the middle and uh, you know potentially certificates that you're you're deploying a certificate authority and and uh, the other computers are trusting that and uh, you know when it comes to banking information and personal information and uh, stuff like that you just need to be extremely careful and make sure that what you're doing is legit and that it has you know reason and you're authorized to do what you're doing okay so that's pretty much it for light squid um, it's it's neat for what it does and um, 
you know, I don't really know how well maintained it is, but you know, it is available as a package in, in PFSense, very easy to install. And if you just want to sort of uh, see some basic info on what has been happening with your uh, in your access log, in my opinion, it's it's a decent solution. It's very easy uh, easy to access, you know, web interface that that type of thing. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for Light Squid. Um, oh, I, it's not. I almost forgot. Before this is going to pull any access logs, you need to go to the services, squid proxy server, and you need to turn on, where, where is that? Okay, in logging settings, you need to check this box that says enable access logging. Okay, so check that, leave the uh, log store directory where it is, you can rotate the logs, uh, if it's blank, it's never going to rotate them, but you can do, you know, 30 days, 60 days, whatever you want to rotate the logs on. And then, um, yeah, I just left that unchecked. So before LightSquid is going to be able to see any of the data that I showed you, you have to come in here and turn on uh, logging. Okay, so it's just as simple as checking this box here, clicking save, and then you'll be good to go. All right. So yes, that that is it, I promise. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.